my name is Lauren, and I'm just a kid like you. Or I was until I found Evil Gargoyle's magic jewel. Then he tricked me, and I ran a spell. Now every time I sneeze, monster, I must stay. My sister Tracy tries to stop but she never gets it right. But Tracy doesn't ever give up, cause you know one day she might find the words that will return me to my former with the night. I'm a monster, I must stay. I'm gonna tell you about Johnny the Ghost. He's a wise cracking trumpet playing friend. Hiking in the hills? I'm telling you, it's going to be a real adventure. I'm sure it will. But, Tom, go easy on Warren. He's hardly ever been out of the city. Oh, he'll love it, Roz. When I was a boy, I thought camping was the greatest thing in the world. You know, I can't wait to teach Warren a thing or two about really roughing it. What's in that box? That? Oh, um, uh, you know, I packed a few snack foods. What kind of snack foods? Well, just a few chocolate bars, some chocolate syrup, some fudgy chocolate coins. Tom! Chocolate-covered raisins. Tom! Chocolate-covered chocolate, chocolate on a stick, and the odd chocolate ball. The plan was to eat only food of the wild. Fiddlehead stew, petunia salad, apple bark soup. Yeah, I know, but we got to bring something for the kids. For the kids? Hey, where are the kids anyway? <laughs> I can't wait till we get to the campsite. We can stay up late under the stars and tell ghost stories. Hey, don't be making up stories about my friends and relatives. I was only joking, sport. I know. It's not that. It's just Dad's so excited about this camping trip. I hope I don't let him down. Don't worry, kid. It'll be fine. <laughs> But what about my allergies? If you feel a sneeze coming on, just count to seven and hold your knee. Hold my knee? Really, trust me on this. Let's get a move on. Come on, Tracy. Bye, Johnny. Oh. Bye, Johnny. Bye, kids. I'll miss you. Finally, a weekend with the whole kitchen to myself. I'm going to chef up a little of Johnny's soul train jambalaya. The jewel. This is our chance. Oh, our chance for what, Master? To, to get the jewel of Fenrath back, you fool, so I can be free of this cursed ball. Now get up there. for a little Cajun number I picked up. Jalapeno Slammer Salt. Says here the two dashes of this stuff is hot enough to kill you. Well, I'm already dead, so there's no problem. Uh-oh. What are those two doing here? Next stop, Carl's Colossal Campsite. Find a way to that campsite. Uh, yes, Master. 
I figured we'd start by gathering quail eggs and greenery for a wild lettuce omelet. Then we could press some Logan berries to make fresh juice. How will we know one berry from another? I got this wild food cookbook from the antique shop. It tells us everything we need to know. For instance, it says here you can collect fresh stream water by using an ordinary household slug. Uh, slug? Oh, no, sorry, it's a mug. You collect stream water with a mug. <laughs> Sure brings back memories. You know, when I was your age, Warren, your grandpa and I spent a whole week out in the woods with nothing but a, a couple of sticks to make a fire. A whole week? Yep. Grandpa taught me everything there was to know about survival. Are there any wild animals out here? Well, you know, the odd owl, maybe some crickets. Of course, there's always the campsite creeper. The campsite creeper? Yeah, well, you don't want to hear about him now, do you? Yes, yes you do. do. Oh, well, all right. Well, it's been told that in the hills surrounding Carl's campsite, there lives a legendary beast known as the Creeper. This hideous creature has arms as, as thick as cement pillars and hands that, that can snap a tree in half. Rumor has it that the Creeper sneaks out of the hills in search of... <laughs> Tom, you're scaring them. Do you believe in the Creeper, Dad? No, no, of course not. <laughs> now, there's no such thing as the Creeper. I mean, you know, monsters are just figments of people's imagination. Well, Carl's colossal campsite's up there to the left. And Carl's wilderness hornet's nest cave is down there to the right. <laughs> Didn't want to make the wrong turn here. <laughs> you just hop in back and don't eat nothing. Yeah, I got us a ride, Master. Ooh, and I thought the garbage smelled bad. What do you want me to do? Nothing, Roz. Warren and I can handle it. All right, now then. Drive that peg into the ground and give it a good couple of whacks with the, the rubber mallet there. Atta boy! Nothing to it! Ow! All right, come on, son. I'll teach you how to build a fire. Okay, so we can cut this up into little pieces. Rest 
when we get the jewel back. The campsite's that way. Uh, I can't see a thing in here. Are you sure this is a campsite? stones around the fire pit. And then, could we go hiking, Dad? Oh, you bet we could. You know, I know a trail that leads right up to the mountain ridge. It's got a view that'll knock your socks off. Uh, 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 Remember, count to seven and hold your knee. One, two, Drivers Union will never believe it. Come on, Warren. He's out there somewhere. But, Dad, what about Mom and Tracy? Should we let them know that we're going? No, we got no time for that. Uh, look, let's grab the camera and head out into those woods. We gotta strike while the iron is hot. Pee! That stinks. It's skunk cabbage. Come over here, honey. These are blackberries. You'll like them a lot better. Mom, are you sure this wild dinner is going to work? Well, of course. People have been eating wild food for centuries, long before canned and frozen foods. We'll give the largest portion to your dad, though. Let him try it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see wild fennel up there. Perfect for stew. She has the book and the jewel with her. <laughs> Give me a jewel. Get lost, you big goof! Hey, where is everybody? I said get out of here. Uh-oh, sounds like trouble. <laughs> <laughs>
tight. I'll think of something. Oh, I don't get it. How could those footprints just disappear? Johnny! We're in trouble, kid. Gorgul and his servant followed you here, and they've got the jewel. We need the monster. Where are they? Over that way, at the bottom of the cliff. But what about Dad? He's just up ahead. Don't worry. I'll keep him busy. Whoops. This might help you sneeze.
You're nothing but a clumsy ape! But, Master, we got the book of spells. See? St. John's Wart Stew. Wild Berry Bannock. What? This is a cookbook! Oh, you fool! A cookbook! Mm, this looks yummy. And listen, Master, it says you can collect fresh stream water with an ordinary household slug. Slug? Uh, oh, uh, sorry, it says slug, not slug. <laughs> you two been? Oh, honey, you would not believe what just happened out there. What? We saw the creeper. Oh, Tom, honestly. Roz, I can prove it. Look at that. <laughs> you know, I can't wait to show the guys at work. This is the greatest adventure ever. Sure beats that week in the woods with Grandpa. I can only thank my lucky stars that Warren was around, honey. He's a real hero. Okay, everyone. Almost time for dinner. Did you hear me, Ross? Thanks, Johnny. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm starving. What's for dinner, anyway? Fiddlehead stew, I think. Except that Mom lost her cookbook. Which means it'll be Fiddlehead goo.